Hi, this is Jan from Be Visible Web Design, and today I thought it'd be useful to look at Adobe Premiere Pro in Camtasia video editing programs and compare the two. I mean, just briefly, because they both have tons of features, so we can't really get into a detailed comparison in a short video, but I think this will be enough to give you an idea of what the differences and advantages are to both programs. They're both great programs, but I believe they have different target users and you can maybe see where you fall um, once you look at this quick review. Okay, so let's go ahead and jump right in. So we start off with Camtasia. Here is what the video editing program looks like when you open it up. I'll just uh, hover over the top menu items just to give you an idea of what's available. But as you can see, if you have any experience with even a simple video editor, it's pretty simple to find things and pretty self-explanatory. I mean, you may have to look some things up, but I'll compare it here to Adobe Pro. So one nice thing when you open Adobe Premiere Pro is you see sample videos right there that you can um, play around with and learn how to use different features. Another nice thing about Adobe Premiere Pro is when you first open the program, it will ask you if you want to do some tutorials and the tutorials open right in the program, which is, which is really sweet. And you do need it with Premiere Pro. Um, even if you've used some simple video editors, like, I don't know, iMovie on your phone or something like that, you're going to be overwhelmed by the features and the fine tuning that you can do on Adobe Premiere Pro. So you'll want to do some video tutorials. And that's why it's nice because that they open directly in the program. So here's a tutorial, I think it's about social media that I clicked on and it comes up right with the video that you use for the tutorial and shows you how to do everything. That's one thing they've done really well. So by comparison, Camtasia tutorials, you have to dig for, you know, you have to search for them. They don't open as nicely in the program and give you a, a video to edit right there and try out the different features. But frankly, you don't need it as much because it's a lot more obvious how to do things. And once you do watch it, um, something you don't know on a video, it's pretty easy to figure out once you get back to the video that, that you're doing. So here, I'm just going to show you or compare doing two of the same or similar things in both of the programs. So here's the, the video tutorial we started on, on uh, social media editing. And right now I'm just editing the color. Uh, you can see on the right, I'm editing the color in that video there. That's the one that I'm changing. And you can see the comparison of the original on the left. So we're changing the uh, saturation and contrast and brightness, white balance on the um, blinds. And it makes the, the video look a lot better. And you can really fine tune it as you can sort of see from what I was doing there in Adobe Pro. And this is Camtasia. So again, more simple, you just go to color adjustment and then you'll find brightness and different things that you can adjust uh, saturation and color in, right in the color adjustment. It's, it's, it's right there. It's not as squeaky, like little fine tuning again as Adobe Pro, but you can really do a lot for, with Camtasia. I don't want to sell it short, but just wanted to show you this to give you the idea that there is a difference both in the learning curve and possibilities of what you can do. So say so you wanted to add an arrow to your video in a Adobe Premiere Pro, you would need to import the arrow from as a image file, which is fine. And then you need to adjust the, the image file. And adjust the position. I'm not going to do a tutorial on how to 
insert an arrow and add animation. <laughs> in Premiere Pro, you can see a little bit of what I, I'm doing here just to get an idea of like what is possible, of both what is possible and you know how, how deep you have to dig sometimes to find different things. But like I said, you can do almost anything you want in Premiere Pro and it just has a lot of functionality. So here I'll show you how it's a little bit simpler in Camtasia. So I'll just add the text here first. I didn't show you how I did that in um, Primer Pro, but that's fine. So let's say we said this kid was a cool kid. Young adult is a cool kid. And then we'll just uh, grab an arrow. It's right here. So I don't, unless I'm fussy about what the arrow looks like, I don't have to go digging around in stock photos and uh, find the right arrow. I can grab it right within Camtasia. I could change the color of the arrow, change the shape a little bit. And then I'll just show you after I change the color here, let's get a brighter color, uh, how to animate it. So to animate, you'll go to behaviors while you're on the arrow layer and then see, I chose fly in, but I don't think that's what I want. I think I actually want slide. So let's see. Yeah, and then I want to make it come up from the bottom. So there we go. Let's get it coming from the bottom to the top. So the direction it's going is towards the top. So yeah, basically, I mean, it's not a great video, but you get the idea. So as I mentioned in the beginning, this, this video is way too short to go over all the features, but here's what Adobe says about Premiere Pro on their website, which you can see they may change it by the time you see this video, but uh, as they say, meet video to tools that grow with you. So yeah, when you first start video editing, you might not need uh, Adobe Premiere Pro and all the add-ons. So they have add-on software like After Effects, uh, Adobe Animate, which you can do tons of things with. But if you really want to go into video editing, definitely go with Adobe Pro and you can, like they say, grow and learn more and more about how to add really cool things to your video. You'd be able to add some cool things in Camtasia, but Adobe Pro is like more for the professional, I, I would say. And here they're actually showing you examples of very professional productions that were created using Adobe Premiere Pro. So I don't know if movie makers use other software, but certainly a lot of them, some of them use uh, Premiere Pro because it has all the features you would need to put together uh, a feature film or very advanced film. In comparison, it's, Camtasia comes right up front at the top there and says simple but full of features. And that's the truth. You know, there's not a lot lacking in what you're able to do with this video editing software. It's not as fine-tuned or quite as powerful as Premiere Pro, but there's, there's a heck of a lot that you can do. And here's um, just their brief overview of the different features that Camtasia offers. But... Really nice program if you're just doing, you know, YouTube videos, if you're just starting out with video editing, or um, if you're doing screencasts like this, like we use Adobe or Camtasia all the time. And here's some price comparison. This is what it costs yearly and monthly if we were to get Premiere Pro, at least at the time I made this video, or if for me, they may change it depending on the user, but that's the price it would cost in dollars. And here's Camtasia. It was, is about the same price for the first year. But as you can see, the following years, it's only $50 to renew. So long term investment Camtasia comes out a lot cheaper if you're planning to use video editing for years. And if if Camtasia fits your bill, you know, if you're just making simple videos to throw a, up on YouTube, and you want some video editing capability, 
but you don't really need, you know, to be producing an amazing cinematography masterpiece, then you can go with Camtasia over Adobe Pro. But both are really great programs. We've used both. And I hope this video helps you make a decision if you're trying to decide between the two. If you found this video useful, you can like and subscribe to our channel for more useful tips and reviews. And you can also check out the blog post on our, our website about Camtasia and Adobe Pro. Thank you and have a great week.